In the Parentids project, we are working on finding cost-effective methods to extract plant-based proteins and others highly valuable bio-based compounds coming from food waste. In this case, tomato, citrus, olives and rapeseed. The first step in a biorefinery process is to characterize the biomass and the components in it. So for instance, we're looking for proteins, lipids, carbohydrates and fibers, which have multiple purposes. So in other words, we're looking for high value components, as for instance, proteins from rapeseed. Rapeseed is a major crop in the EU grown for its oil. The byproduct of rapeseed oil extraction is protein-rich rapeseed meal, which is most commonly produced by exposing the product to high temperatures and sometimes chemicals during extraction, rendering it unusable in food grade and other feed applications. By using low temperatures, proteins can be extracted more gently and retain more of their original nutrients and functionality, making them a better option for use in foods and pet food. In the Pearl Ridge project, we have extracted protein concentrates with a protein purity higher than 70% from both cold press and hot press raisin cake. We have also obtained a protein isolate with a protein purity higher than 90%. The results so far indicate that cold pressed rapeseed cake gives the higher protein yield. Value can be created out of waste and side streams. That's why we constantly develop new and improve existing processes for various types of raw materials. Right now, for example, mung beans, hemp, wheat and corn gluten, to name but a few. Only if you valorize also the side products, you can make optimal use of all components. This does not only result in more efficient production processes and overall revenues, it also helps to reduce all the impacts that come with protein production like land use for agriculture, water consumption, greenhouse gas emissions and soil degradation. The more we can get out of existing processes, the less crops we have to grow.